everyone and welcome back. Who would have thought that we'd be starting the summer term in this way? In my wildest dreams, I never imagined that I'd be welcoming you back like this or that you'd be listening to me from the comfort of your homes. It's a very odd situation and quite exciting in many ways too. But I don't need to tell you that these unusual times are also worrying and unsettling for many, both in the outside world and in our Claysmore community. I'm thinking particularly of our Year 11 and Year 13 students who've been working really hard for the last two years and now they won't be sitting any of those exams that they've been preparing for. Nevertheless, there are some real opportunities for all of us over the next few weeks and we have lots to be positive about as we begin this new term. It's worth thinking, for example, about how we'll look back on this time. There's no doubt that we'll be talking about this 2020 lockdown for the rest of our lives. Its impact on us will be so huge. So what will we tell our children and grandchildren about it? And what will we say about ourselves and how we manage those challenges and the opportunities that lie before us? Will we look back upon this once in a lifetime event as a missed opportunity or as time well spent? To help you with that, we've got an exciting programme of lessons and activities for you all over the next few weeks. But as ever, what you gain from it will depend to a large extent on how much you give of yourself to it too. We want you to see this new term as a chance to enjoy and fully embrace this new world and to take the time you've been given to learn new things as well as to appreciate the special moments with your family that you would perhaps otherwise not have enjoyed. And I want to hear all about it, so I'm going to leave you and your tutors with the challenge. I want you to put your thinking caps on this week and let me know what you think the best thing about lockdown is and what do you think will be the most challenging. I'll share the best ones and perhaps we can then repeat the exercise when we're all back at school and see how our thoughts about it all have evolved. I'm sure there'll be lots of surprises in the weeks ahead and we'll all learn a lot. And I wouldn't be surprised if what we learn isn't much more interesting than perhaps what we were supposed to be learning this term. Some of you might even keep a journal recording your thoughts about it all. Think about Anne Frank's famous diary when she and her family were in hiding during World War II. Our situation isn't anything like their terrible ordeal, obviously, but I'm sure we'll have lots of interesting experiences to share. So, have a good start to the term, try to stay positive and cheerful, and know that we'll all be very different people at the end of all this. And I'm certain that when we return to our old lives, our perspectives will have shifted in a really positive way. Enjoy your first day back at school.